Okay, and we are here, but we're struggling on our other link. So if you're sitting on that other link waiting, um, we're going to share this link with you guys and you can come over here. And I apologize. I have no idea why my technology decided today was the day it didn't want to work, but it decided that. So we're going to set our camera just, just right and get busy because most of you guys will probably already be like, I'm on my way. I got to see, I got to use a cheat to see size. <laughs> To see what size screen I need here. A little bit bigger than that one. Let's go about right there. Okay. So, let's stop the camera wiggle. I have to hold my breath. Okay. So, now, they should have shared it. Y'all should have already been able to share it. You did? Well, not showing an error. Please try again later. All right. I see Tamitha has shared it. I did. But, like, um, in your link. Yeah, Timothy shared it. Did you see that? Yes. So I'm seeing, are people here now? Let, um, if you're in the chat, in. tell us you came from the old one. Let's make sure it's working. Is your link working? Timothy's, the one Timothy posted worked. Because I clicked on the one in YouTube and it's not working. Oh, sorry, y'all. We just got quiet. We're all trying to get this link sent. I'm sorry. I don't like when shows start like this. It's frustrating. That's what I'm getting. That's what's on your screen. All right. Can y'all see my screen? Can you see my hands? Or are you getting an error occurred? There are people here. Oh, yeah, but if they can't see my hands, then it doesn't matter. I see your hands. Oh, you do? I do, yeah. Well, I don't. So, all I wanted was the chat. Oh, they're saying it's all good. I'm going to pop the chat out. That's all I'm worried about then. So you'll have to tell me if I'm in screen or not. Yeah, because I can't get her. I wonder why. It's, I clicked on Tamitha's link and it worked, and you click on it and it doesn't. Could be because we're both signed into the same thing at the same time. And you're trying, and we're both trying to go from the back room a little bit. Okay, let's do this thing. So listen, this is actually a good time for this to happen. <laughs> because um, I really want to film a video on this. But I wanted to show y'all real quick what I saw and, and, and tell you what I got in mind. Because I want to get your opinion on this. Okay, check out this card. I just saw this on um, Pinterest. Matter of fact, if you'll do me a favor, Ben. Okay. Just because it'll help me go smoother. I'm going to put this tape where my bottom, where my lowest point is. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I'll have to wait till it's showing. I can see it. You already see it? Yep. Here? Not yet. I want it out of the screen. Come on, down more, down more. All right, let me let it catch up with okay. you. Okay, I saw this card and I wanted to try it, and it's it's opened up a million you can different come ideas. Down just a touch more. Okay, that's good. It'll just keep me in in line. So here's the deal with it. It's called a triple easel card, and I saw it on Pinterest, and then I saw it on um, YouTube, but not very much, just a few times, and I was really kind of surprised how few I had seen do it on. YouTube. So check out what happens. So this is three pieces. You see this? And the thing is, I want to know what y'all think of it. Is it something you would like or something you wouldn't like? Let me know. So it goes like this. And these pieces are all basically miniature easels in and of themselves. And they go like this. You lock them into place and you end up with this. And what happens is you're able to build this dimension on the card. Now, my personal opinion is we're going to have to have a way to tell the recipient how this works, right? Because eh, like, if you got this card, you really, first off, don't know how to open it because you're like, what do I? Oh, maybe each little thing would say something going up. That might be cute. Yeah. Because probably if a person got this, they're going to open it from the bottom. You, you reckon? talk loud, though. I'm not going to be able to talk louder. I mean, I'm right at the camera. Yeah. This is as loud as I'm going to be able to be. So... What do y'all think of it? Do y'all like this guy? And then I thought, could we do this in a mini slimline? And I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, I think you'd have to send instructions with it. That's what I think. But I thought we'd look at it. All right. So let's look at my mini slimline idea. All right. Here's the thing. This is an A2-ish card. Okay. A2-ish. And this one I will have to film for you because you have to change the size a little bit to be able to get an even 
thing. So look for this one to come in a filmed video. I will be doing that one for you. But today we're gonna do a super easy slim line, which I think will be easy. I think will be easy. Let me say this real quick because I see a lot of people saying this. If your screen is blurry, you need to go down to the bottom of your screen to the little cog. There's a little wheel. If you'll tap that wheel and then tell it to change the resolution, tell it to go away from 144 to like 720 or 1080, you'll be able to get clear again. It's just a YouTube situation and I have to do it all the time. So just go do that real quick. All right, you know a mini slim line, the easy one is a six by six. I'm gonna be using um, uh, six by six to do it. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of white cardstock down to six by six. And I want, and here's the thing, I've discovered that these this card can be a little bit fidgety, okay? And I'll show you how and why and all that kind of stuff. And I still want your opinion of it. It's really cool. There's lots of things you can do with it, right? But I want your opinion of it. Am I, is this in screen? So I know that I'm up there. The top is not in screen. Tell me when this is in screen. Which part? Where my finger is. Okay, you're good now. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score this in half at three inches. And I'm using my Dress My Craft trimmer because I can just use this score tool that's in here. So I'm gonna score it in half, right? So now I've got my halfway mark, which y'all may struggle seeing. Um, do you want me to draw this? I don't think you're gonna need me to draw it. I think it's gonna be easy. I don't think you're gonna need me to draw it. Look at that. <laughs> so, okay, it's so, we're, so we're scored in half. The part working there? No. Oh. Um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is let me clarify something because I'm gonna make sure so we don't have that comment over and over again. The reason my mics are not turned on is because we had to go away from my software today because I'm having a glitch in my software. So I'm having to use my phone. So the mics are a little bit different today. Normally I use our $800 microphone system and it works just fine. But today our software decided not to load. So just to let y'all know, that's why we're having to do it different. This will be a quick video and then we're gonna go do some more fun stuff. So let's just get through this one. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I told you I will have to film this one for you because these measurements are very specific to make this work, okay? This one, we can do it any way we want to. Here's what I mean. You got six inches to play with, okay? So I did a little test and I will show you what I got. With this one, I did a two, two, and two cut, okay? Um, I think this looks kind of good, but I even took a five by seven. I'll show, when I do the film video, I'll explain all this. In the five by seven, I did three different sizes of cuts. Interesting. So I thought when we have more room, we can do that. And you can do that anywhere. But for today's video, I'm gonna do this, this work, okay? So you've got your score mark down the middle here. If we turn it, okay, you can turn, you now want to, um, you wanna cut from this opening edge Okay, this is the opening edge of your card. So this is the inside of your card. This is where it will open. You wanna cut two inches. You wanna put your card stock on the two inch mark and you're gonna cut down to the three inch mark right here, which is the middle of your card to your score mark. Okay, the three inch mark or the, or the score mark. And what I do is just lift this up and check and I got it, okay? Then I'm gonna slide this to four. See, the mini slim line makes this easy because the measurements are super easy to divide in equal numbers, right? So now I'm gonna slide this down like so, and I'm gonna put it to the three here, okay? And now we should be good, we are. So we end up with these three slices on the front of our card, okay? Now here's something you gotta know. In order to make this easel work, your score mark has to go from outer corner to inner corner. Outer corner, inner corner, outer corner, inner corner. Otherwise, if you score it this way, it's making it backwards, which is not the end of the world because you just flip it around. You, well, you don't flip it around. You would flip the pages over and it still works. Like, let me show you what I mean. So this one's done correctly. Let's say, yeah, let's say I did it this way. If I did my marks up and down like this, it, see the fold would be going the wrong way. If that happens, just turn your page around like this and it'll make it work. Ask me how I know that. Okay, put your blade out of the way. Let's score. So I got my score blade here. Now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna close these guys out of my way because they're kinda in my way. I wanna score from outer corner to inner corner. So I'm gonna line this up in my trimmer. Outer corner, inner corner. Here's where some difficulties lie, okay? I discovered earlier 
that if I was not very precise with this step, when I go to put my layer pieces on, let me show you this. When I go to put these pieces on, these little dime, uh, triangle pieces, they don't line up really well. So you want to try to be as specific to that corner and specific to that corner as you can. It's not like the end of the world if you're not super lined up. Don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. It's not. Because mine weren't, by the way. But it's it's pretty good. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to score this one. Just like so. By the way, um, well, well, you haven't told them what the announcement is. You'll tell them, we'll tell them afterwards. I'll, I'll tell them afterwards. No big deal. We'll tell them in the next show. All right. And then this one. Do not like when I have technical difficulties and I get flustered. Because especially today when I was literally prepared for the show, I literally came in prep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It always likes to throw me. But you know what? That's just how it goes. All right. We're roll with it. We're going to keep going. So I've got all of my score marks going in the same direction. And that way, when I fold these under, all my little easel pieces will work. Okay? So now what we want to do is we want to take this little guy, and I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to fold this back and bone fold it. All right? And then I'm going to fold this one down, just like this. That one I didn't do so great on. I got a little off. That's good, though. I need to show you what happens when you get a little off. And we'll fold that back to the front, and then I'm going to do this one. Do y'all want a filmed video on this card? Like, is this something you want to see me tell you more in detail about? Like, is this is this a thing you're interested in? I don't know. I just saw it, and I thought, hmm, is this something we want to know, something we want to do? Okay. I mean, I kind of like the idea of it, because I kind of like when it's done. You're getting yes and absolutely, please, yes. I mean, I like when it's, I like when... If this were complete, like if this was sent to me and I knew how to do this, I like this sitting on my desk or my windowsill or my whatever, right? But it's a, it's a little, it's a little different. Okay, so now let's talk about these pieces. Now these pieces are two by three, okay? So what I want to do is I want to put the little diamond pieces on here. You know, I want to put, I want to map this piece. So I want to cut them down one and three fourths by two and three fourths. Okay, why is that? One and three-fourths by two and three-fourths. The reason for that is I want a little bit of the white to show. Okay, so I'm going to cut it down a quarter of an inch smaller. She said, I don't, I don't know. know. Why. You said, I don't know why? So there's a mat. So, it, so we can make a mat. So it's sexy in just a little bit. And I'm using the cutest paper pack known to man, which, by the way, we have in. I'm so glad. Let me show you this page. How can, how can anything be cuter than that? This, is this just not summer? Does this not scream backyard barbecues, peach cobbler, lemonade, fresh strawberries? I just love this paper pack. It's summer it. market. Longer. It's summer market, and we're going to use this pack, and i got to decide how I want to do it. The, oh, this. Duh, that was easy. I love this strawberry paper, and Shannon played with it, but I didn't get to. So, we going to. We gonna. Okay. Oh, let me get this beautiful page out. I love this page. I think those would cut out the skin and cut really well. Oh, yeah. I think they would. Yep. All right, so I'm going to cut this strip down to two and three-fourths. I don't think I want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Two and three-fourths. Is that how I want to do it? I'm trying to save paper. No, let's go back here. Okay, two and three-fourths. Because that's the width of my mat. Then I'm going to cut these down to one and three-fourths. I'm going slow with my brain. Let my brain think is what I'm doing. It's craft math. You got it. One and three fourths. It fours. is Summer Market by Cartabella. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. There's the link. Tamitha just posted it for you. So. All right. And then, let me say something to y'all, though. Don't go buy it right now. Just wait. Just wait. Because you're going to be mad at me if you don't. Just wait. Wait till the next show. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is this. And I have to do this slow because I have to make this make sense for you guys, okay? When you look at your paper, whatever part you want to be at the top corner, you want to kind of do it like that. Like if I want those little strawberries to be at the top corner, I want to kind of mentally pay attention to that and then put it in my trimmer like this 
because I'm going to do a diagonal cut. Now, did you see my, my short video where I showed you guys my favorite diagonal cutting tip? So you line up corner to corner in your little section, in your little cut line there, and then you're going to close your blade down and sink it in. Okay. And then you're going to go up and down and that's going to get you a beautiful point every time if you try to push your blade from here up it's going to wrinkle a lot of times it can do that all right so here's what i want to show you what we just did we have now made the mat for here okay and for here or we can flip it and use it somewhere else all right so that's something you have to pay attention to because watch what happens if i it works here, right? Or if I'm making a different card, or I can use it down here. Because see, I'm going to mix these, these colors up, these patterns up. So we're in good shape. We're going to mix them all up. So now I want to do the next one. All right. And the next one, I'm going to pay attention. I want to do it plaid. And I want it to live down here. So it won't really matter because the plaid is the same on both sides. I have to pay attention to those patterns. I'm real bad at that anyway. Y'all know that? They're like, we know, Mamie, we watch your videos. We know you're bad at patterns. <laughs> so now this one can land here. That is so cute. And then this one can go down here. So now I'm gonna have to do the middle one and I'll have to do another piece because you just have to. I want that one, no. Yeah, that's the one to go next. I want that one to show. Okay. Sink and cut. Place this in. That'll go, look how cute. Now, if you decide, because I want you to see this too, a, a lot of the front shows more than the side, you can you can flip these too if you want to. And you can see that I cannot use this one here because I want that pattern to go down there. So I gotta do one more to get that pattern. Did it, is this big enough? No, I tried to save paper. Now I gotta cut another piece. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, y'all. I will use it somewhere else. It's all right. I'm just reassuring myself. Pat yourself on the back. Just reassuring myself. It's all right. It's just paper. Boom. Oh, I just did it wrong again and I paid attention. <sighs> One more time. When your pay attention or doesn't work, does anybody else have a pay attentioner that likes to mess with them? <laughs> My pay attentioner didn't work. Why do I feel like that should have worked? What did I do wrong? I'm not real sure if I did anything wrong. I think maybe my brain's just giving me a hiccup. I hate when that happens. I did it right that time. No, I didn't. Hold on, though. I think I know what I did wrong. I think I just figured out my issue. That didn't take much therapy that time. Usually I have to get a lot of therapy for that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my issue. And I didn't even have to say anything. Look, that was my issue. I had them wrong. Okay, now I just have extras. Okay, so those will lay out like that. Now, let me show you why you have to be a little fidgety with your scoring, okay? If your scoring gets off up here, I did good this time. I did bad the first time. If your scoring gets off, these little pieces won't lay just right. And look, if one of them has to be angled like that, if like if they end up having to be angled like that, it's obvious. So you have to try and get to the point and to the point. Get to the point. That's what y'all want me to do. <laughs> All right. Does anybody smell burnt feathers? Oh, my goodness. Somebody says they're hearing a bird in the background. I, Karen. I, um, ain't no birds around here. We know of. I practiced this a little bit for you guys today, and that's what's wrong. I shouldn't have practiced. You know, well, if I didn't practice, I wouldn't have known how important it is to get that point just right. If she didn't practice, y'all be making a, straight, a plain old AT card. Yeah, and it wouldn't look right. I'm going to tell you something. Y'all don't want to do it unless I teach y'all. Because I'm going to tell y'all. Because does anybody want to have to score 1.6? No, what was it? 1.867? Oh, God. The, the decimal points were... <laughs> if you don't let me teach you, 
you definitely don't want to score whatever it was. It was like 1.867 yeah. was the third was what you needed. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. So I figured it out, but it needs a video because I can't do it in this format. We mathed a lot. I was tired of mathing. I gotta be honest. And Vince wasn't in here to help math. So that was not good. She had me and my That's calculator. That's dangerous. We had a calculator. Wait, I was just spitting out numbers. I was like, try this, try that, try this. And then I went, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. That is awful cute. It, it, this, I'm telling you something, this paper is going to hide a lot of sins, right? It's going to hide a lot of stuff. It'd be cute with these lemons and stripes. Oh, it would. I don't know what's going on here yet. I got to look at stickers. You don't have to do stickers. Let me tell you what you can do. I wanted to do this, but did not have time today. And you'll know why in the second show, why we didn't have time for that. I wanted to use SVG cuts and use a stamp. And I think these little summer things would be so cute with like our buggy love or um, the frog set, which is called, is it Leap of Faith? I think it is, or no frog, fully rely on God. Oh. Um, I think the frog set would be so cute. I think the bee set would be so cute. You know, I think any the, the elephant, how cute would the elephant with his little fly, with his little um, balloons? So let me show you this now. So we got our base made, okay? So I want you to see this. What I have here are stickers, okay? What matters is they only get stuck to that bottom portion. That's what matters. Whatever you put here has to be free at the top, okay? Also, whatever you put here needs to stay in here and needs to stay in here and here. But see how this one is overlapping here? It can do that. That's not a problem. As long as whatever you put here stays inside the card dimensions, when they stand it up, you don't care how tall it is. And the only reason you want it to stay inside the card dimensions is so it will fit inside your envelope. That makes good sense. Did it really? Yeah. I like when you say that because that makes me feel good about what I'm doing. Let's look at stickers. Now, I have an old pack, so I have a lot of used stickers. Like, all my, all my, that camper, though? Oh, shut up. That's so cute. That's so cute. Hey, where's my new camper set? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, that'd be so cute. Um, the camper. Oh, is it too big? I was going to use it for sentiment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Won't that be cute? Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave that there. And then, do I want to just mix flowers? The jars are oh, cute. the jars are cute. Okay, let me move this one out of the way. And <clears throat> I'm just going to go like this, just for a thing. Just to kind of lay it there. We're not sticking it down yet. Then I'm going to go with, I like this little guy. Like up here. Mm -hmm. oh, get off of me without sticking down, please. So up there. And then what else do I like? That rocking chair is cute. I might should put the rocking chair here, put the camper down there. That'd be cute. Yeah, that would be cute. Let's look at that. All right, so as long as you don't stick these guys down, you can kind of do this number and just put them in place so you can see them. That's kind of cute, isn't it? And then have these up here and maybe even put like a word or something down there. Let's see. The best day. I was made for sunny days, lovely day, sunshine, sunshine flowers. So cute. What have I got on here? I might want to put it there. You could stamp something. Oh, where you go, I'll go is so cute. He will make your path straight. These are cute. These are cute. These are cute. Okay. So let's figure this out. I don't know. I might. Another thing. Oh, could I? No. Another thing is rocker might be cute here because like it's on the porch facing you then the camper cute to this side yeah I kind of like that you have to kind of think about what it looks like flat because that's how they're going to open it right they'll see that first so let's put this up here I like the best day right there okay now we have to do the part I do not enjoy and that is take the sticky off our stickers you can stick them down to paper and cut around them. That is not an issue. But here's what I'm gonna do. I need to do it where y'all, I don't, I do not like this part. Cause it gets in my nose. 
All right, so I have this piece here that was a, a template from me learning how to do that card the other day, that graduation box. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna flip him over, over here. And I don't have to take the sticky off of the whole thing, but I'm going to so that I can just glue it down where I want it to go. So this is just my embossing powder tool. And I just kind of do this number and then we'll get this side. And I do want to take the sticky off. Another thing you can do is once you put that powder on, you just kind of do this right here. Oh no, please don't be scared of your sticker sheets. They're the greatest. Angela says that she's scared of them. I love them. Stickers are my favorite thing. I always say this leaves like a little crime scene behind. You can also do flour, cornstarch, uh, cosmetic powder. You might feel better with cosmetic powder because it's a it's made for your face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're not breathing in this one. Okay. So then we get this one off of here and pick up. I always pick up what I can because I don't want it everywhere and I don't want to be breathing it in. So I pick up what I can. And then I'll go back to the, ooh, I puffed it then. Look on my fingers. I am not a fan. But that's just because I don't like to get dirty, y'all. <laughs> I don't like to get dirty. All right, and then the top one. People who do mixed media, I just look at them and think, you are the bravest person. You are so brave. If it's still sticking to me, it's not done enough. Make sense? I think it does. That's why I keep flapping my fingers around on it. There we go, there we go. And then we'll put that one over there and I'll have to clean my mat again and my fingers again because I can't stand it. Oh, y'all, okay. Let's bring this back over now. I'm gonna put my rocking chair on the bottom. Now, all you gotta remember is you cannot stick it up here. You have to stick it below there. So see, I'm gonna put it down here and I'll show you something I did earlier. I have my sticker and I put my finger behind it like that to kind of stop me from where my glue can go. And then when I take this off, I know my glue can go down here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You just kind of mark yourself with your finger as to where your glue can go. And then you bring this back over and you glue it into place. You could um, put these on foam here. That would be fine. I'll foam them up. Yeah, you could foam them up. And then I'm going to do the same up here with my Kampa. I'm going to put it to this side. Now notice, I don't have as much space here. So I'm going to put my fingers behind to let me know where. And now I know it's back here where my glue can go. You could put your glue down here first. I just like to put it on my sticker. That one, I left that one a little sticky. And look, I didn't even put it in the right spot. I let that hang off, so I got to put it in the right spot. Let me open you up so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, and then let's open that one up so we can see what we're doing too. So this one's gonna go up kind of high. Just like that. Cute, and now I'm gonna put my, <laughs> Put my best day sticker up here. It was stuck to my arm, y'all. Okay, so that is the front. And of course you can bling it up, mess it up, do whatever you want to with it. Now we have to do this. We have to establish little stoppers. You can do that with all kinds of things. What I like to do is come over here and you know these little tiny pieces that we really don't ever know what to do with? This is kind of cute, right? So there's a little teeny strawberry. Oh no, look at that. It didn't get cut out. It has the line around it, but it didn't get cut. Isn't that funny? Let's use these little flowers. They're bigger anyway. Give me a little more space. So I'm gonna take these little, oh, that little sticker just messed up. Where's me another one? Here's me another. Where's me another? These are little, so y'all gonna have to deal with me while I fidget with these guys, because my chunky fingers ain't gonna. Where's your little? Oh, I got all them tools. I had to get them off my fingers. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, and then Shannon brought me some brand new foamy stuff. They're on the, did you find them? They're on the bottom shelf under your masking paper. Where they're supposed to go? You put them away? Imagine that. She put them up where they should go. Yeah. Well, 
I tried. I tried. She tried to do the right thing. She, she put them away where they're supposed to go. I, can, I, I imagine that. that. No wonder I couldn't find them. They were right where they're supposed to be. All right, I'm going to take a foam, and I'm going to put a foam on these. These need foam. Why? Because they're going to be stoppers. So they got to lift up a little bit. Ah. There's that one. got it now what we will do is this is how i did it i wanted my smallest little one down here at the bottom and i went ahead and stood this up where i wanted it to stand and that's where how i placed it if that makes sense okay so i'm going to stick this on here to make life easy for me and i'm going to lift that up where i want this to stand and that becomes my little button that will little hold that. isn't it cute I'll do the same a thing door here stopper. it's like a little door stopper then I take my next largest one. That's just me. You don't have to do that. That's just me doing that. I'm going to do this, and I just kind of line this guy up like so. And now he stopped, and now let's do one more stopped. Do this one like this. Do this one like this. Do this one like this. And look at that. It's super cute, you know? And look at it from the front right here. I mean, it's really cute, right? Yep. I think you're going to have to send instructions with it in some way. Maybe I'll have that figured out by the time I film the video. And then, of course, you I would put my sentiment on the inside here. So, where are my stamps going? I love these stamps. So, which one do I want to use? I like the big one in the middle. Let's use this. We don't know where the road leads, but we know he's already there. Let's see. My hands are so powdery. I'm getting powder on everything. I need to get some wet wipes from my desk. Okay. There's that. I'm going to use some VersaFine. Ink this little dude up. Probably should have stamped before I did all this. Really doesn't matter where it, where your sentiment is, really, as long as you have room to write. You just have to get in there because of this lifted up. That's cute. We don't know where the road leads, but we know he's already there. So that's good for the inside. And then the outside is like that. It's not a bad card, is it? No, it's cute. I mean, it's cute. It's different. Let me see if I can hold it sideways where y'all can see it. So like displayed, it would look like that. It's not bad. It's a cute idea. I can't, I can't know exactly who came up with it. Um, I saw, I saw, I didn't see it everywhere. I saw it in some places, but I went, oh, like as soon as I saw it, it clicked. And that's how I, I like cards that click on how to make them. Like I really didn't even have to watch a video to figure it out. You know, those are the ones I like. So what do y'all think? There's that one. Let's bring the bigger one back over. Let's stand these little dudes up where they go. Um, You know, there'd have to be a little thing like I'm an easel. I'm a triple easel card. You know, use the sticker, use the images inside the card to hold the panel in place or something. It ain't coming out, is it? I don't really know how you do it. I'm not good at that. People are so good at that stuff. I'm not good at that stuff. I like them. I think they turned out cute. Um, but you will get an actual film video on this because I think you need it. Because I think I need to do do the splaining. <laughs> I think I need to do the splaining. You got some splaining to do. Especially for the A2 because no one wants to no one wants to cut 1.86. Trust me, we don't. All right, guys, that's that. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see if it would work. I think it did work. I got powder everywhere anyway. And here's what I got to tell y'all. You got to be here for the after show because it's Memorial Day weekend. So what y'all think Vinny's doing? Yep, yep, yep. I also want to tell you, I'll go ahead and tell you this and we'll talk about it in the end too. I'm taking the weekend off. Like I'm not just taking the weekend off. I'm taking four days off and I'm very excited about it. And I hope you guys are excited about it too. So, there will not be a video Saturday. Um, we will not have video Sunday. Uh, I will be posting about Discord. We will be postponing um, Sunday's Bible study, which is a good time because we're on the 6th. We're in the middle, so it's a good time to kind of take a break and come back at it. Um, and, there, and there won't be a video Tuesday. Because I'm taking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday mm -hmm. off, I'm not pre-filming, and I'm taking the time off. And I love y'all. 
but sometimes you gotta reset you gotta reset and if we don't do this for ourselves it gets dangerous you know what i'm saying you gotta do it right you gotta take a break you got to so we're excited we're gonna take um now here let me tell you when the store hours are gonna be the store will be open its regular hours through friday um till four o'clock and then saturday the retail store is closed sunday that's always closed monday the retail store will be closed so the staff will be taking three days off okay um and are you taking four days? Have you decided? Shannon's taking yeah, four days. I'm going to take tomorrow. Here's the thing. Like, we worked last Saturday. Shannon and I worked. We we pulled a six-day week the week before. So, we're we're happy with this. We're excited to take we're a little sleepy. time off. Um, huh? I said, we're sleepy. We're sleepy. We haven't caught up from that day. I'm like, why, do we, why, do, why does that one day kick us in the butt, right? It gets us every right. time. So, we're going to be taking some time off. And we'll be posting about that, too. But... Um, we'll talk more about that in the next show, and we'll be telling you about the exciting stuff Vinny wants to tell y'all about. Oh, and how we're going to do it, we're going to walk around the, the warehouse. It's a lot easier to do it that way. We're going to walk around the warehouse and tell you all about that. Um, first, um, is before Christmas in July a good time? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Just a good time. You just need a break. I want to reset my brain. My brain is tired. All right, guys. I'm going to turn this show off. I'm going to have to make another link like we do when we do a walk around. And so, if you'll just hang out on my channel for a second, that other link will pop up, and then we'll be, be ready to walk around. And hopefully, the mic will be better, too, because I'll be right at it, where just then I was sitting kind of low, but hopefully that'll be better. All right, guys, so thank you for being here today. I got to wiggle this a little bit, and we'll see you in the after show in just a few minutes. Bye, Bye guys. Now.